He said, what matters are relationships above everything else. And not just, just the relationships, but how you show up to the relationship. How you show up in your life, in the world. What do you leave behind? What kind of energy do you leave behind? And um, so if your projects touch other people, yes, they are wor worth a lot. If they touch you, if they touch, you know, if, if it has some kind of deeper meaning, then yeah. Those are very important. So I, I, I now I'm thinking maybe I want to go back. Maybe there's some stuff I, I want to kind of fix up. And it said, okay, if you want to go back, here's what you need to do the very first week you get back. You have to tell me you're going to commit to seeing these four different people, set an appointment and go see them one-on-one. -on -one, and you have to tell them these things. For two of them, it was how much I love them. And I don't mean I love you. You know, that's, that's kind of deep. But these people knew I loved them. My mother was one. I mean, my mom knows I love her. No, it wasn't like that. What did I love about my mom? What do I love about my mom? What specific qualities did have, and just brings tears to my eyes, what, having her as my mom, what does that mean for my life? What, what, what did she bring me? What did she teach me? Her specifically, you know, the deep version of love. Another one was healing, starting the healing process. And it, it didn't have to be a big conversation, but it meant contacting that person every week, starting to build a bond again after a, a you know, a break. So that was one. A second one was a combination of those two, the love and the healing. And the third one, expressing the deep gratitude for the things they had given me. And not just, again, not just, oh, you know, I really, really am grateful. But it's like, this is why I'm grateful. If it weren't for you, this. You have helped me understand this. Like the deep stuff. Now, I'm going to tell you, the three people I saw in, in person, those conversations were crazy. I was crying like crazy. I was telling them about this wild near-death experience. They were just in shock. <laughs> you know, None of them could look me in the eye because I was just emanating so much energy and intensity and emotion and love and all this stuff. They were just kind of like, uh, you know, like, uh, this is too much. Because as humans, right, it's kind of weird to feel that much emotion, to express that much emotion. We kind of hide it. We have cool, you know. So it was amazing. And even though everyone, they were a little bit uncomfortable, and yeah, I was too, but I was so in it, it didn't matter. The bonds that were created from that day were so deep. And for all the people that I talked to, it has grown into something so beyond the love that I felt before. And the person that I was healing the relationship with, it's to a point where... It was actually my dad. And I never thought I would have this relationship with my dad. It's so beautiful. So here's what I want to ask of you tonight. To think of someone, and if you have paper, to write down someone who has, who's meant so much to you in your life. A parent, a mentor, a spouse, a child, whatever. And think about specifically what do you love about them? What have they meant to you? What has their presence brought to your life? And to write those things down when you get home, whatever. And then consider telling them or writing them a letter and telling them this. If they've already passed on, say it to them with the assumption that they may be hearing. I think they will, but that's up to your own belief systems. You'll feel it in your heart that you've expressed something. So is anyone here willing to commit to doing that? Oh, it's beautiful. Awesome. This will be very incredible for your lives. And imagine for their life. They don't even know what's coming. <laughs> 